Hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the Free Hammers. It's Saturday. Um, feeling a bit better now from the last video. Obviously, thank you for everyone who, you know, said I weren't looking too great. I wasn't. For a couple of days, I didn't feel too great, you know, sort of snotty nose and all that. Just didn't feel great. Man flu, as they call it, you know. Um, today, a few bits of news splattering around, you know, just little bits that we're trying to grab hold of, you know. Um, so David Moyes still hasn't signed a new contract, but we've spoke about that. But, you know, still rumbling on, but I think I expect him to sign that. Um, some of the things I've seen today, guys, in terms of transfer update is uh, Oxalade Chamberlain, um, a player that we were linked with. I, I assume he'd be one we'd look at if Lingard didn't happen. Um, apparently Liverpool have come out and said they don't want to sell him now. Um, I know a lot of Liverpool fans actually really like him. Um, he's another one of those classic when fit. He's a fantastic player. Um, I would like him at West Ham, you know, he's, he's a good player, um, but again, we can't be afford, you know, we can't afford to carry passengers in terms of injuries, again, we can't be going down that road as much as a good player he is, we, we don't want that again. Um, another player linked is Ross Barkley, um, again, I said these are all players that probably if Lingard don't sign, we would look at Lingard, Loftus-Cheek, and other ones though that are just, you know, just, they need that form of confidence, like what Lingard did, so... I wouldn't be against these players. Obviously, Lingard's first choice for me, but you can expect these names to be linked because Lingard's not been done yet. We don't know whether it will ever get done. Um, another name linked is a Lazio striker called Carrera. I believe that's, I think his name's Joaquin Carrera. Um, young Argentinian, I think he's about 23, maybe 24 now. Um, very good, very fast, um, you know, athletic player. Um, I don't expect that. I don't think there's much in that, to be honest with you. Um, good player, though. Very good player. But, um, yeah, I wouldn't read too much into that. Um, Giroud has signed a new deal with Chelsea. So that probably, you know, rules that one out in terms of, you know, buying him as the plan B or offering him a contract as the plan B. Um, I wouldn't have minded Giroud. I like him. I think he would have been good for the Thursday night games and, you know, just give us that little bit of squad depth. Um, but, unfortunately, it doesn't look like that one will go through as well. Um, who else do I mean? Obviously, Junior Furpo is constantly, you know, between us and Southampton. That's definitely got some legs in it, that one. So it's a rumour that's not going away. Um, Dakar, um, apparently that one's eased off a little bit now. Um, but a good player, very good, very fast, very quick, um, very strong player. Um, a player I definitely would like to see a sign, but I just, again, it's another one where lots is up in the air at the moment, you know, um, it seems that Moyes is, you know, keeping his cards close to his chest and so are the ball in general. You know, we don't get, um, you know, we don't get as much information as we used to get, which is a good thing. You know, it's it's a catch-22 in it. We all want to know who's going to sign and who we're linked with and what we're looking at. But actually, it's nice to not know because it means, you know, these signings can be bought in. Um, Crow, who knows what's going to happen now. You know, apparently personal terms are agreed, but the fee is still, you know, a bit here. And then there's the rumours that Moyes only sees Jesse Lingard as he's the only midfielder he needs and Crowell would only be there if Lingard didn't come in. Who knows? They're probably just little rumours that they're pushing out there. Um, Crowell did play against Italy last night. Um, they lost 4-0 to Italy. So, um, but again, there was, there was no Socek or anyone like that. I think Sofell played, but... Um, yeah, they did get tucked in last night by Italy, so that, that wasn't great for them. Um, I'm trying to think what else I've read today. Um, Chris Woods as well is another one whose name keeps coming up. Um, again, another one is a good plan B. I'm not saying he's... I wouldn't be happy if he was the only striker we bought in. But, um, you know, certainly someone who, you know, he scores... At the end, I think he scored 10 goals. Most West Ham players only get to 10 goals, so you, you can't be... Anyone who just goes, turns their nose up and goes, oh, 10 goals. Name me, name me a West Ham player that gets more than 10 goals over the last 20 years, apart from Marlon Airwood, uh, Di Canio, and I think Johnny Artson. We've had loads that don't even get above seven in a season, so to get 10 in a Premier League season, I wouldn't be against it if, again, if he's this, with someone else, you know, with a Dakar, with a Simmer, with a Hoizek, or whoever names we get linked with. Um, another one mm, I can see us going for, but I don't really want him. I would have had him in January, Josh King. 
Josh King's being, you know, released by um, Everton. A player that we know Moyes definitely did want right back in even this time last year, the summer transfer window last year. Didn't do anything at Everton apart from hit the post against West Ham. Um, not for me. Not for me now. In January, yes, when we, you know, we was short of options and we needed people that we could get quick. Not now, though. You know, we've got a, a few weeks, good seven, eight weeks till the season starts. Um, it may be even longer. It might be 10 weeks till the season starts. Yeah, I don't want to see that. Do you know what I mean? I want to see us get, you know, one of these first targets. One, at least one of the names, one of the top three names on his target list for strikers I want to see. You know, I'd imagine that Josh King's probably about ninth or 10th on that list. Um, other other news, obviously Arnie pictured with Declan uh, during the England game. Obviously, yeah, Arnie had a muscle strain for that game, so he couldn't play. Um, you know, looked like they had a good bond, good relationship again. Who knows what's going to happen now? Um, I imagine if we start panicking of strikers, he will come in. It, again, another one would be fantastic for the European nights. Um, I don't like going backwards, but I was a big fan of Arnie. I was, and he is a fantastic player. But um, again, not first choice. I think that's why I just keep repeating myself in this video. Not my first choice. Um, obviously, in terms of Lingard as well, obviously Trent Alexander in injury um, has possibly opened the door for him. Um, who knows what's going to happen now. Obviously, Maguire not fully fit. Jordan Henderson, who knows what's going to happen now. So maybe it could open, open opportunity for Lingard to go. Um, I see Ryan sat on West Ham Fan TV last night. You don't want him to go there and have too good a world, you know. You know, you don't want him to go there and be absolutely incredible. Because then he puts you out of West Ham's price range. And you, I'm sorry, I'm club before country, you know. I've, I am selfish. You know, I want... Listen, I want Declan to go there and play fantastically well. I want Jesse Lingard to go there and play well. But not too well that other eyes are looking at them. And then they take it away from West Ham and weaken us as a club. You know, I'd much rather West Ham go on and win things and become a big club than England win anything. And that's me being honest right here, right now. Um, there's a couple, there was a name linked with the director of football job as well, Robbie Cook. Um, I believe he's worked as a scout at Manchester United. Um, and, you know, I think he's very highly regarded in the game. I don't know too much about him. I might do a separate video on him uh, if and when it does get announced that he may be our director of football. Um, so that'd be good, you know, you just start getting a little bit more professionalism in the club, you know, if um, we get a proper director of football, get a proper scouting system set up, um, and, you know, as I keep repeating myself, I believe Moyes can really build a proper infrastructure in the club and have a, it run a lot more professionally than it has been. Um, so hopefully, you know, good things are starting to turn around in terms of that part of the club, you know, that backroom part of the club. Um one other thing to mention, um, the release list came out. Um, we sort of knew it anyway, but it's been confirmed officially now that Fabian Balbuena has left the club. Um, apparently linked with Pellegrini, actually, back in Spain. And I, but I think he wants to go back home to Chile or Paraguay. I think Paraguay, sorry, that's Pellegrini that's Chilean, isn't it? Yeah, I think he wants to maybe go back home. Um, you, you can't blame him during these hard times, during COVID. You know, it's not like um, he could have gone home and things like that. And I think players maybe think more like that now um you know they want to be close to home in case anything like this happens you know it's, it's not fully over yet this covid situation sadly so um i imagine you know people want to be near their families you know um so yeah guys that's about it for today um let me know if you've heard anything rumor wise me and paul are hopefully going to do a podcast tomorrow uh be nice to see as many of you guys there as possible so we can have a chat um of all things west ham um not long, actually. The week after the next 16th, the fixtures come out. I can't wait. I can't wait to see the fixtures. You know, we always look. Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Um, until then, fixtures do come out, though, guys. Let me know who you want. First game of the season. Um, hopefully, we get home game this year as well. That'd be nice to be uh, at home for first game of the season. Um, I reckon, you know, I'd like to play. I'd like to play Brentford. I really would. I'd, I'm quite looking forward to that match next year. Um, and I think it might be a good idea to get that game out of the way early. Uh, because they, I think they, they could have a little bit of a bit of bit of one of them formy teams that get hit a bit, good bit of form. Um, but I'm going to spend the last 15 seconds of this video saying, Tottenham, please don't get a manager. It's hilarious what's going on at your club at the moment. Conte's obviously turned you down because he's not going to get enough money. 
Potty's not going back. Oh, let's all sit and have a little prayer that Ryan Mason starts the season as the Tottenham manager in August. Listen, I'm going to enjoy it. This video might get memed in a few months' time when they're like bloody top of the league and they've won the league with Ryan Mason or whatever. But at this moment in time, let's just enjoy it. Until next time, guys, come on your hands, keep believing, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let's go.